All right, back to day two of the ITAD Summit 2024 at the Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami, Florida, uh, sitting with Todd Zegers from uh, Circular Integrity. Todd, thank you so much for finding, I, I mean, I think it, it was the hardest uh, out of anybody finding some time with you. you, you you're pretty busy here, so I appreciate you taking a, a few moments uh, um, to come in and sit with me for this interview. Um, tell me a little bit about Circular Integrity, what you guys do, what your role in the ITAD space is, and um, you know, sort of just a, any of the fun conversations you've been having or hearing here at the ITAD Summit that really have you excited about where this industry is going. Yeah, absolutely. So I started Circular Integrity about a year and a half ago after my you know career at Inger Micro. Uh, what we're really focused on working with is if you think about the IT supply chain from parts and components manufacturer to the ODM to the OEM to the distributor to the VAR to the corporate end user to services and maintenance, and you get into ITAD and e-waste, right? Kind of whether you look at it as a stack or a circle, everybody in that ecosystem has some sort of ITAD or RL type related need, right? And I think we try to service all of those stakeholders in various functions. And then you've got, you know, kind of ancillary players, like whether it's private equity firms or software companies or logistics companies who want to partner and kind of work in that ecosystem, right? We try to help make connections and kind of steer people there. So we do, you know, various things, whether it's project-based type work or, you know, formal engagements or advisory agreements and stuff like that. So it's, it's really all over the board. I mean, I could probably sit here and give you, you know, a hundred different ways that we're working with clients right now. And, you know, this industry is so hot and heavy right now. There's whether it's, you know, the private equity interest to get into this space, you know, ESG and sustainability is, it's always been around, but like, it's just at this, this, right. this tipping point right now that's changing. And the, the, this industry is, uh, Laura said it earlier in the women's session about, you know, ITAD 2.0. And I really smell that ITAD 2.0 is really starting to really formalize. So it's the perfect time for us to be doing what we're doing because people need help. And I think I mentioned in our session is, you know, why do people work with us as well? You could drive to Fort Lauderdale and just have no directions and kind of work your way there over time, or you can use Google Maps, right? Right. And you can get there quicker. So that's our job is right. to be Google Maps, if you will. That's, I love the, the way you characterize that. It's sort of easier to, easy to understand that way. This ITAD 2.0, right? This has come up now in a couple of interviews. Um, and one of the things that's really been highlighted uh, multiple times now is how this industry has gone through what feels like a maturation process, right? And from being um, sort of competitive and, and focused on, you know, I must win, I must, you know, my company must come out on top to being collaborative and the rising tide raises all ships, right? Yeah. Um, how is it that an organization like yours who's focus, focused on providing solutions to problems um, and opportunities to challenges. Um, how is it that you find that you can best play in that space in, in a more collaborative world? Um, and how can you help companies succeed in, in the space while also being thought leaders on the collaborative side? Yeah, I think, you know, going to the 2.0 conversation, there's a lot of different things right now. And this this business has so much more complexity than people give it credit for, right? If you think about an ITAT transaction, it can start of you have to go on site and do on site services. Then you have to obviously pack the equipment. You have to ship the equipment. You have to process the equipment. You have to refurbish, repair it. Then you're either going to sell it or you're going to recycle it. And you know, there's so many touch points. Then you got all. Then you factor in the complexity of all the different device types that you touch, right? So, um, no one that I know does everything really, really well. Right. Well, some people do a lot of things well, but if you look at you know if it's a hundred things, maybe who is best in class maybe does seventy things really well. So if you're a company that focuses on the mobility sector and you want to get into the laptop sector, right? We can help people make that transition and migration there or addition, if you will. If you're an e-waste company looking to move into the ITAD space, you know how to recycle, but you're not understanding how an IT asset manager works, who you are as your buyer um, in that scenario, we can help kind of educate them on that. So it, it, it's, it's a very broad spectrum of where that type of stuff can go. And, you know, having done it for 20 years, I, there's not much I haven't seen, uh, but, you know, you come to an event like this, you see all these new things coming out all the time. It's, right. it, it's, it's really... It is very important for ITAS to be very close to the pulse of what's happening in the world right now in this industry because it's going to change fast and, and evolve yeah, into two Um Looking at you, you mentioned ESG. Um, looking at that evolution of ESG and the requirements that are coming down on ITADs around ESG, primarily from customers and suppliers, and in some cases, you know, regulatory um, requirements. How much of your time is dealing with ESG type issues and what have you seen are the biggest challenges for ITADs in terms of just making that transition from, you know, the sort of 
yeah, we do ESG stuff to having like the formal pro program and, and protocols in place. Yeah, I, I would say in a journey to 100% of the ESG of what needs to be implemented in our space, I still think we're like 10 to 20% of the way there. Yeah. There's a long ways to go. And, you know, the E side is fairly easy because it's yes. not, not that E is easy. E is environmental, obviously. But, um, you know, everybody's always kind of done these environmental calculators, environmental benefits, you know, how much water savings, greenhouse gas emissions, greenhouse gas emission savings. And I feel like, you know, the whole carbon calculator piece is kind of growing. It still has a long ways to go. So I feel like the the E is well on its way. I think the S and the G is always a little bit more of a tougher part to, to calculate or report on, right? right? So when I think about social, there's so many ITADs, and almost everybody does, you donate, whether it's donating laptops to the yeah. Girls Club, which right. is a great you know, social aspect of it. So how do you, how do you quantify that? Uh, but you also think about just generally, you know, a used laptop or a used phone is going to someone who probably can't afford a new one, right? right. So how do you really calculate the benefit of that? It's, it's super massive, right? But I don't know how you quantify and calculate that. So I think that is still a journey to be explored to figure out how they're going to solve for that. And, you know, the governance side, obviously there's certifications, you have the ratio records and stuff like that. So again, we're doing a lot of that governance stuff, uh, but how do you report and track on it? So that's why I still think this whole ESG is a huge opportunity for people to go out and solve for. And there's a lot of really smart companies and other consultants that that's not my consulting expertise. Yeah. Like I, I bring my customers to those types of consultants yep. to help them develop a solution. Uh, but I think there's a massive opportunity still and a long ways to go. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we've talked a little, we've touched on this a little bit, you know, um, you know, the value of events like this. Um, you know, you uh, have been a regular attendee of the ITAD Summit and, um, and other shows. What is it about these events that really um, makes you continue to invest your time, your energy, um, your money, your financial mm -hmm. resources into coming into an event like this, into participating in the industry and to really putting yourself out there as a, as a thought leader and an icon in the space. Well, I would probably say I'd look at it for two different hats. One is when I was wearing my hat when I ran the business at Inger Micro, right? I would say I want to come here and I want to find out, you know, what partners, because uh, obviously, you know, the ITAD industry is full of co-opetition. You guys have all probably heard that word, right? And the leveraging of partners who is this guy's good at servers, this guy's good at phones, this guy's good at compliance, whatever it is, you have to build a partner ecosystem to, if you want to go at pace in this business and build scale. So I think coming here as an ITAD operator, I tell, I have some several clients like, I don't want to come. I don't want to go hang out with a bunch of my competitors. I'm like, you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. Number right. one, there's potential partners. You can learn a lot what's going on there. You sit in these sessions and learn a lot and get different perspectives of what's happening. But also you got to find out, you know, if there are competitors, what are they doing, right? Yeah. What are the new technologies that are entering the space around whether it's software, automation, and everything else? And so if you're not here, you're missing out on a lot of that stuff. You kind of lose track of the pulse of the industry, right? And this is hands down the pulse of the industry. Um, me now as a consultant in this industry, everyone here is a potential client, but that's right, right? If you think right. about it, right? Because yeah. again, all those stakeholders in that ecosystem are here, right? Even the ancillary and adjacent parties. So um, this is absolutely something I want to get involved with, but Again, me as a consultant, if I learn what everybody's doing out in the space, see new technologies, when a client brings me in to do consulting work, I can say, hey, listen, Mr. Customer, I just saw this new thing the other day you should really go look at. Or we were just talking about this three months ago, Mr. Customer, I just found this. You really got to go talk to these guys and you got to get insights right. to it. So that's how I look at it. So what you're saying is access to all these customers is important, but really what brought you here in the first place was the opportunity to be a judge for the first ever <laughs> inaugural <laughs> IT <laughs> Uh, ITAD uh, Industry Excellence Awards, right? I mean, th that's got to be it. it. It was cool. It was cool. But, you know, we all kind of look at the same responses coming through and everything else, I guess. Yeah. Maybe uh, we're the, the validator, the auditors checking. Yeah, that's what came through. And that's right. These people win. That's right. But it, it, was a, it was a great event last night. Yeah. And obviously, it was it was really fun to to be a part of that and, and have you on, a, on the judges panel and, and announcing those. And, um, you know, here's to another uh, great ending to uh, another day at the ITAD Summit tonight. We'll have some yeah. some fun with uh, your friends over at HP, and um, and uh, you know certainly the conversations will continue. I'm sure plenty of business will get done on that boat too. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So. It's uh yeah. If you're not picking up business here or learning new things, you you're doing something wrong. That's right. This is a, a target rich and an, an education rich and an opportunity rich uh, yeah. conference for sure. Well, with that, um, I know we both have. Uh, things to do and and i know you've got meetings to get to so i just want to thank you uh very sincerely for taking a couple minutes to sit down with me um and have a conversation about uh where you see the industry going and your role in it and um you know uh just uh want to wish you a, a 
safe travel home and a great rest of the show. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Daryl.